Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you a book, Sonia Sotomayor, Supreme Court Justice. And as I read this to you, I want you to think about what makes her a good citizen? What are her actions that make her a good citizen? Chapter 1, The Greatest Gift. Sonia Sotomayor was born on June 25, 1954. Her parents, Selena and Juan, came from Puerto Rico, but they met in the United States. They lived in a rough part of New York City called the Bronx. Sonia was a bold little girl. If anyone tried to bully her little brother, Juan Jr., he fought for him. Sonia's hero, teenage detective Nancy Drew, stood up for people. Reading Nancy Drew books made Sonia want to join the police force someday. Sonia says our books, especially the encyclopedias, were like a window to another world. Sonia's mother made sure there were plenty of books in the house, including encyclopedias. My mother gave us the greatest gift, Sonia would say, of education. Sonia's life changes. Sonia attended a very good Catholic school. One day during mass at school, Sonia fainted. The teachers rushed her to the hospital. After some medical tests, the doctor said that Sonia had diabetes. And the picture I'm going to show you is a young Sonia posing with her parents. They were from Puerto Rico, and the family went back there often for visits. A person with diabetes has dangerous changes in his or her blood sugar. Every day, Sonia needed a shot to keep her blood sugar at the right level. At seven years old, Sonia learned to give the shot to herself. Diabetes changed Sonia's life in other ways, too. The doctor told her she could never become a police officer. But watching the television show Perry Mason about a lawyer who solves crimes gave Sonia another idea. If she couldn't become a cop, she would become a lawyer. As a little girl, Sonia only spoke Spanish with her family. She did not start speaking English well until she was nine years old. Next chapter, Busy Years. When Sonia was a senior in high school, Sonia applied to Princeton University. Even though she was an excellent student, others had come from better schools. Sonia got into the school with the help of a program called Affirmative Action. This gave special treatment to minority students, such as African Americans or Hispanics. Many of these children had grown up poor and didn't have the same chances as white children. Top of the class. At first, Sonia felt out of place at Princeton, but she did not get discouraged. She studied hard, spent a lot of time in the library, and asked teachers for extra help. Sonia made top grades and joined groups that helped Latino or Hispanic students. The picture is Sonia graduating eighth grade, top of her class. And this picture is a picture 
of one of the buildings. This picture is one of the buildings at Princeton University. When Sonia graduated in 1976, the university awarded her the highest honors for her grades. The next few years were busy. Sonia got married, she graduated from law school, and she started her first job in New York. As a public prosecutor, public lawyer, she helped send criminals to jail. Sonia says, for me, affirmative action was a door opener that changed my life. Next chapter, a hard worker. By 1984, Sonia's life had changed again. She was divorced and she was now working for a private law firm. Sonia helped protect people's ideas from being stolen or copied. She also did a lot of public service work, volunteering. People began to take notice of her success, even the president in the White House. In 1991, President George H. W. Bush nominated Sonia to be a federal district judge. When someone asked her, if learning to be a judge would be hard? Sonia replied, my whole life learning how to do things that were hard for me. I've spent all my time doing that. None of it was easy, but hard work never bothered Sonia. President George Bush nominates Sonia to be a federal judge. She was one of the youngest judges on the court. Sonia became New York's first Hispanic federal judge on August 12, 1992. One of her most famous cases had to do with a baseball strike. There have been no games for eight months. Sonia ended the strike and the game started up. Fans all over the country could enjoy baseball again. Sonia moved to a higher court in 1998. Federal courts have three levels. A person who loses in the lower level court can take his court case to the next higher level. For 10 years, Sonia reviewed over 3,000 decisions made by lower courts. Her energy was limitless. Sonia says, I have a streak of stubbornness in me that I think accounted for some of my success in life. The People's Justice. On May 26, 2009, Sonia stood beside President Barack Obama at a White House press conference. The president announced that he was nominating Sonia for the Supreme Court. She's faced down barriers, the president said, overcome odds and lived out the American dream. Sonia's dream had taken her to the highest court in the land. Soon she was discussing many issues with her fellow justices. These issues included other affirmative action cases health care, voter rights, and many others. Sonia asked tough questions to get to the heart of each case. She even stood up for her own beliefs when she disagreed with the other judges. Sonia says, I believe those of us who have opportunities in this life must give back to those who have less. And here's a picture of Sonia with President Obama.
Despite everything that she has done, Sonia is a down-to-earth person who understands the problems of ordinary people. News reporters call her the people's justice. Sonia's popularity has led her to some interesting places. She threw the first pitch for the New York Yankees in, in 2009. She's made several appearances on Sesame Street, and she even swore in Joe Biden as vice president in, on January 21st, 2013. What matters most to Sonia, however, has always been making things better for other people. There she is throwing out the first pitch. I understood the lawyer's job is that to help people, she wrote in her book. I understood that the law was a force of good to help other people. Whatever the future holds, Sonia will continue to fight for the justice for everyone. And this is a picture of all nine Supreme Court Now, I want you to think, what did you hear? How is Sonia Sotomayor a good citizen? What does she do? What does she say to show that she is a good citizen? Now work on, submit your paper. Good luck.